routine number one. Here you go. So glide kip cast handstand, uh, 0.05 in body position. Uh, the Van Leeuwen was done very well. Uh, she caught, her shoulders were above bar height when she caught. So that is an E release. So you're going to get the two tenths of E plus, I put a little asterisk up there because it is an E release. You do get an additional tenth in difficulty value. So that skill alone is three. And then cast, some people called it two handstands. Some people didn't. Uh, the ganger was done very well. That's a D connected to a C. So that's our example of the overshoot being a B, but because it's directly connected, it's going to go to a C, and then it's going to be plus one in connected value. On the overshoot, 05 in amplitude and zero to 05 in body position, depending on if you saw a little bit of pike or not. And then she resumes and goes into the high bar, uh, cast handstand, was done very nicely. The reason it's a zero to a B, it depends on what you did with the cast handstand prior to the ginger. If you did give the cast handstand and this one, you wouldn't only because it's the third time, it was still done very well. And then two giants into her dismount, uh, pull in double back and 05 for the feet staggered on the landing and 05 for failure to join the heels together. And then that also was an example of our 05 uh, failure to hold. So the execution came in somewhere between 0.3 and 0.35, and the score range 9.6 to 9.7 with a 9.65. Okay, so we can watch that in slow motion. Just a little body position on that. That was done nicely. That one kind of depends on where you were sitting and what angle you saw. Nicely done with their feet together. I think that one was right there, right on top. And the pull out, staggered on the landing and then failure to join. I started thinking when we talked about this landing, my brain has to separate it into two parts. Think of the landing as something different than the holding of the finish. So I'm going to look for the stuck landing, the body posture, uh, bringing the feet together. And that's going to be something that's completely different than if they held it with their arms above their head. Okay, so this particular athlete, we did have a 9-9 start value, so we'll go through that. She begins on the low bar, jumps to the high bar, cast handstand was done fairly well. The giant to the half, a little bit of body position, but she was within that angle to get zero. And then the overshoot to hand, a little bit of knees and body position, so she's a little soft when she catches the bar. The toe up, zero to 05 on the rise. Her rotation is pretty good, but she does need to also have rise on that. And it's a little flat knees on the cast handstand on the high bar 05. And then she bends her knees through the bottom. I'm sure she's trying to get some momentum to get into that double A dismount. So 05, and those are occurring at the bottom, a little bit of 05 knees at the bottom of each one and the double layout at the end, failure to maintain the position. I did think that she showed the layout in the majority of the double salto, which is 
that's how we evaluate that. So I did stay with the e-dismount and dynamics uh, 0 to 05. So remember the dynamics is going to come off the execution. Also because she is missing a single bar release or an E release or two Ds, she does have a 0.1 up to the level. So she did have it in her dismount, but she didn't have it in her other category. So execution 0.45 to 0.6 from the nine, nine start value, including the up to the level. So 9.2 to 9.4 is the range and 9.3 would be the average score. Let's go ahead and watch the replay. I thought she was there pretty well. A little bit of soft body position, maybe even a little bit of knees. You saw the knees bend as she was going and then a little bit of soft softness through the back. Again, just a little bit of knees, and then you'll see them at the bottom. So that was an example, and I think Cookie's going to show this again, of the hold. So she did hold that. Her arms were up, and that was her one second. Okay, number three. Okay, let's take a look at that one. I think we can all agree she definitely had some feet and knee problems throughout. So the hecht mount, 05 feet and knees. Even on the kip, she had 05 feet and knees. Cast, uh, no value part, uh, 0.1 on the angle and 0.05 for feet and knees. The giant half for the blind, zero to 05 for leg separation. The piked Jaeger, which is an E, 05 in height, 05 in knees, and 05 in feet. And that is connected directly to the overshoot. So that is our example again of the B skill that is a C because it's directly connected to a D or E release. And it did have an amplitude. She just kind of just popped it straight over. She really didn't have much flight on that one. And then cast squat on, jumping back to the high bar, 05 knees on the kip, cast of no value. 0.1 on the angle and 05 feet and knees. The giant pull, 0.05 in body position and 05 and one depending on the angle. So this is another really good one to talk about. If they finish within 20 degrees, there is no angle deduction. So if they're within that zero to 20, there's nothing you can take on the angle. You can obviously take your body position and you know feet, knees, things like that. But you don't start between 20 and 30 degrees is where you're going to get that angle deduction. So the finish of that is when that second hand reaches over to grasp the bar. And so that was within the 20 to 30. So 05 to one on the angle and on the double back dismount point one on the step watching it, there's probably should have been 05 on the feet because they're pretty flexed, but definitely one on the step and then 0.05 for not holding. There was zero to point one in dynamics. Also precision of the handstands 0.05 to point one. And execution wise, it's one to 1.2 in execution. And the score range on that one is 8.8 eight to 9.0 with an 8.9 average on that one. Okay, let's go ahead and watch it in slow. That was definitely short. Little leg separation. You can see she just kind of shot that straight over. That one was short again. And then she grabbing and the step. And I think we can all agree there was no hold because I think we're getting a little bit better at that. I think our eyes are getting better to, to look for that. Okay, wonderful. Here we go.
Okay. Aside from the beautiful toe point throughout, um, she you know, did some things very well. Cast handstand was beautiful. The reverse hecked. Hack salto had nice amplitude. It was hip height. The first deduction occurred on the cast hand half pirouette. So just like we talked about the blind full where you're within zero to 20, there's no deduction for angle. She could have been right on that 20 or a little bit past. So zero to 05 for a late pirouette. Everything else is lovely. Uh, the next deduction is occurs on the dismount where she does a double A and her chest is forward. She has maybe a little bit of a swing of an arm. She did stick the landing. So this is where the additional movement to maintain balance comes in. So 0.05 to 0.1 in the additional movement. So overall, her execution is 0.1 to 0.15. The score range, 9.85 to 9.9 with an average score of a 9.875. Let's watch the lovely replay. Beautiful line. Maybe it could possibly be just a tad. It you know depends again if you're sitting on that low bar sometimes. Zero to 05. Well above bar height. Lovely. 